This apparatus is used to perform the four ball weld load test. Three ball bearings are loaded into a cup and thoroughly coated in grease. A guide is then placed on top to make sure the balls are in the correct position and excess grease is removed. A locking ring then securely clamps everything in place. Another ball bearing is inserted into the chuck, which is loaded into the machine. When the test is running, the top ball bearing is rotated at 1500 revolutions per minute, whilst the other three balls do not move. Weights are added to the arm to force the four balls together with a known load. The force is multiplied by leverage. 10 kilograms here is equivalent to 180 kilograms acting on the balls. Depending on the weights chosen, a load of up to 800 kilograms can be created. For the first test, we're going to use a helicopter grease loaded using a weight of 180 kilograms. Because the arm is long, only 9 kilograms needs to be used due to leverage. The machine is turned on for 10 seconds. If the grease can survive without seizing, it passes the test. The machine is turned on. You can see that the grease is starting to smoke. The cup should be easy to remove, but the balls are welded together solid. The four balls are removed from the apparatus and the grease has turned completely to liquid and is very hot. This grease has completely failed. The four balls are welded together in a pyramid shape. Now the test is repeated using a valve lubricant designed to withstand extreme pressures. Six hundred and twenty kilograms are used for this test. The machine is turned on for ten seconds. At the end of the test, we can see the grease has passed without difficulty.